Jack Taylor struck an excellent century for Gloucestershire on an eventful first day at Cheltenham. The Bristol County Ground made way for the more intimate surroundings of the College Ground in Cheltenham as Gloucestershire hosted high-flying Worcestershire. With the toss uncontested, the visitors chose to field first, and the decision paid off with immediate effect, skipper Joe Leach trapping Cameron Bancroft LBW with the very first ball of the game. That brought William Tavray to the crease, and he and Chris Dent went about repairing the damage with a counter-attacking stand of 53 from 11 overs, before Leach struck again, Tavray edging behind to Cox. Gareth Roderick was next to join Dent at the crease, but he was almost looking for a new partner himself. Dent attempting a perilous single and just making it home after the ball was fumbled by the Worcestershire fielder. But the morning was emphatically Worcestershire's with two quick wickets before lunch. First, Roderick top-edged a simple catch to Hastings off the bowling of Ed Barnard for 11. And then George Rhodes had Van Buren caught behind for one to leave Gloucestershire 92 for four at the interval. Chris Dent, who had been lucky to survive that run-out opportunity earlier in the day, brought up his 50 shortly after lunch. But he then became Ed Barnard's second victim of the day when he was trapped LBW for 65. Captain Phil Mustard was joined at the crease by Jack Taylor, who took the attack to the Worcestershire bowlers, launching Rhodes back over his head for six on his way to a 51-ball half-century. Mustard was more cautious at the other end, but the pair saw Gloucestershire through to tee without further loss. Skipper Mustard completed a patient 50 shortly after tea, but he was then out in the same over, Barnard the bowler to finally end his stubborn resistance. As so often happens, one wicket brings two, Josh Tung heading the edge of Kieran Neumer Barnett's bat to reduce Gloucestershire to 234 for seven and give wicketkeeper Ben Cox his third catch of the innings. Those two quick wickets did little to alter Taylor's mindset. He brought up his 100 with his 15th boundary. He and Craig Miles put on 89 for the eighth wicket, with John Hastings coming in for particular punishment. The partnership was broken shortly before the close, Ed Barnard removing Miles to pick up his fourth wicket of the day. Taylor was joined by David Payne, and the pair safely negotiated the final six overs. So an entertaining day's play finished with the home side on 343 for eight, a great recovery from Gloucestershire led by Jack Taylor's 118 not out. Ed Barnard the pick of the bowlers with 4 for 67. He'll be hoping to add to his tally as Worcestershire look to wrap up the innings quickly on day 2.